Hey, what's going on guys? So I spent, I don't know, the last day and a half or so curating a list of around 200 design and UI resources in 17 different categories. And I just uploaded the repo to GitHub and I'll have the link in the description if you want to check it out. And the reason I created this is because as a developer, I know it can be tough to find good resources as far as creating websites and user interfaces. And I also know that there's a lot of really, really great developers that aren't that good with design. So hopefully this can help some of you guys out. And if you do like it, I'd appreciate it if you give it a star. If you want to add to it, that's absolutely fine. You can make a pull request. Just make sure whatever you add is is free and you put it in the right category. And of course, it's not already here. Um, so these are the categories I have, you know, UI graphics, fonts, icons, stock videos and photos, vectors, HTML, CSS templates, um, framework, CSS frameworks, React, Vue and Angular UI libraries, design systems and style guides, online design tools, downloadable software. So I'll just go through some of these. Um, you can see UI graphics. These are going to be your sketch, Figma, PSD files and so on. UI Design Daily is probably my favorite here. There's just tons of really nice modern looking UI components and you can download the files if you want. But what I do is I use these for inspiration. So if I want to create like a login page, I'll just look at this and, and recreate it with HTML and CSS. So really, really cool site. There's some others as well. This one has Figma uh, designs, elements, screens, stuff like that, infographics, whatever. I found this yesterday, Humans, which is a, a library of, of people illustrations, which seems to be kind of a design trend right now. Pattern, same thing. And you can download this for, you know, all these different software platforms. What else we got here? Uh, animations.co, so you can create GIF icons and little animations and stuff like that. Then we have fonts. Google Fonts obviously is the most popular here, but there's some other font sites as well that that are worth checking out. There's some tools too, like this what font you can use to find what fonts are on a web page without having to go into the dev tools. You have this TIFF right here, which you can you can compare and contrast different fonts. You can actually put them right on top of each other and compare them uh, icons. So we have font awesome, obviously material icons feather icons so you have different sets you can you know change the size and change the color you can download the package and there's a bunch of them here stock photos so really you shouldn't have to pay for stock photos these days there's a lot of different sites like pexels and unsplash and these have really nice high quality photos and you can search by category a lot of them you can actually search by color stuff like that so a bunch of them here stock videos. I didn't even know that this many stock videos, free stock video sites existed. So let's say if we want like a video of a computer, you can go ahead and down that, download that and use it for free. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So there's a few different stock video sites, vectors and clip art. So if you want like patterns and stuff like that, there's also icons and different types of Im Im images. Um, and a lot of these vector sites are very similar. You know, free pick, they even look very similar, but they have different resources. So product images, maybe you're building an e-commerce site and you need some demo products and stuff like that. That's what I find these useful for product and, and image mockups. Smart mockups I put first here. This is actually the one I use for my thumbnails, my YouTube thumbnails when I have a project inside of a device. And this there is I do have a premium account, but there's a lot of good free ones as well. So, for instance, if you wanted to, you know, put your website in a laptop, you can just simply upload it um, from your computer or from Dropbox or whatever and download it as a high quality image. HTML, CSS templates. So HTML5 up has a lot of nice, unique templates, template mo uh, color lib is pretty cool. There's a lot of different categories like real estate, restaurants, job boards. So if you need a, you know, a layout for your application, you might want to download one of these and just kind of tweak it. CSS frameworks. I'm sure most of you guys know a lot of these tailwind bootstrap. Material, uh, material design light, Bulma, skeleton, some less known ones like milligram, vanilla framework, uh, UI kit. And a lot of these are really lightweight, which is good. Uh, you know, bootstrap and some of these other ones, popular ones tend to be pretty heavy. 
Then we have UI and CSS components and kits. So these aren't quite frameworks. They're much lighter and still give you, you know, different uh, UI components, some with JavaScript functionality. Design blocks. I thought this was pretty cool. These aren't images. These are actually like CSS components that you can download and use. Uh, what else? Shards, a free and, and modern. And you can see I have a description of each thing here. Free modern UI kit. So that is, then down here we have stuff for React. So material UI, Chakra, React Bootstrap. I thought this was pretty cool. I just found found this React Admin, which is a framework for building admin um, applications or ad, I should say admin interfaces. And it directly works with APIs like uh, like any JSON API or Firebase. So I thought that was pretty cool. And it's something that I'm going to check out React Toolbox. Uh, what else? React Desktop. So you can build like desk uh, components that look like desktop components. So here we have some view stuff, Viewify, Bootstrap View. I just found out about this too, Bufy, which is um, based on Balma, the Balma CSS framework. And some other stuff here, Quasar, Angular. So we have Material Angular, NG Bootstrap if you want to use, you know, Bootstrap with Angular. And then this is this is really cool. A lot of these I just found today um, design systems and style guides. So we have general style guides and design systems like Google's material design. But I have a lot from different companies like Apple. So these are the Apple design resources. And not only does it tell you about their whatever design philosophy and stuff like that, but you can download files. There's um, a lot. There's code that you can use. Not so sure about Apple, but if we go to like uh, Audi. So this is all the Audi design stuff. And if you go over to components, there's buttons and it tells you exactly the size and the exact colors and stuff cards. And if you go down here, you can see the code for it. There's the GitHub repo. Um, so pretty cool. And, and I don't know the exact guidelines on how you can use this stuff the design systems from companies like that if it's just free to use on whatever you want but you'd have to look into that but there are generalized systems like this ant design um, and there's actually like react and view components you can use with this system you have the yelp style guide which doesn't look too good to me uh, what else e trade Microsoft Fluent UI. This looks pretty cool. So this is like the Microsoft um, framework or design system. Plural site Mozilla protocol. So this is a design system for Mozilla and Firefox websites. So I, I mean, I think this stuff is pretty cool. And, and even if you don't use it directly, you can get some ideas from it. Down here we have some online design tools like Figma, which is really popular. Um, there's free and paid options. Vector, Canva, uh, Wireframe. So if you want to create, you know, a website wireframe here, you can do that. And like and some of these might be free and paid, basically free with paid options if you want to, you know, more features or whatever. Photo editor, photo, photo, remove BG. So if you want to remove a background from an image, you can use this little tool. A lot of these are just little tools for specific things, logo maker, um, color scheme generator. So if you need to generate a color scheme that makes sense, you can make a palette. Uh, what else? Site map builder. So this is pretty cool if you want to build out a site map. And I imagine you can use it to build out like database tables and stuff uh, as a visualization. Whiteboard, online drawing tool. So, so I mean, some of this might not be that useful, but I figured I'd put it in there anyway, like this right here, cartoon photo. If you want to make a cartoon uh, photo of a, you know, a real photograph and then downloadable design software, GIMP, which is very similar to Photoshop, but free uh, blender for 3D modeling, some other ones here, pencil project. And then just some inspiration like Dribble and some other sites that I found. So, I mean, there's a ton of stuff here and I'm sure that you guys can find something that is useful. And um, and that's it. I just wanted to let you know about it. The link will be in the description. 
And uh, again, if you want to contribute, you can. I actually already have four contributors, you know, 10 minutes after I, I uploaded it. But um, yeah, just, just make sure that it's free and it's in the right category. So that's it. Thanks. And I'll see you next time.